Grade 8 Math Number 8.3D, Elimination by Subtraction. The elimination method is another method used to solve a system of linear equations, and a variable is eliminated by adding or subtracting the two equations of the system to get a single equation in one variable. Now, as we said in the last video, after we've stacked them vertically nice and neatly, we can tell that we need to subtract instead of add because both equations will have an identical variable term. So just remember, when subtracting a negative, we need to add the opposite, okay? So here we've got a system of equations, and we can see that they both have a positive 2x. So we're going to subtract. Positive 2x, take away positive 2x, gives us a 0. And if we have... Remember, this is our friend, the invisible one. If we have one y, and these are both positive, if we have a positive one and we take away three, that's going to give us a negative two, isn't it? It's going to put us past zero to a negative two. And eight take away four is four. So now we've got this. And we can ignore this, can't we? So we've got negative two y equals four. We can divide by negative two to isolate that y on each side and this negative 2 over negative 2 gives us a 1, and we have 1y, and 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So we know y equals negative 2. We can substitute that negative 2 in for y in an original equation. So I chose the one that has both has uh, terms, variable terms have coefficients. So 2x plus 3 times negative 2 in place of the y equals 4. Well, that 3 positive 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. So that gives us 2x minus 6 equals 4. We can add 6 to each side to get rid of this, right? To get rid of that negative 6. And 4 plus 6 is 10, so we have 2x equals 10. Divide both sides by this 2 as an inverse operation to that multiplication right there of the 2x. And we get 1x equals 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now we know that x equals 5 and y equals negative 2. So that's our solution, 5 comma negative 2, all right? So we rewrite those two equations in slope-intercept form so that we can check them and graph them. And we'll check them by graphing, right? So the first equation was 2x plus y equals 8, all right? And we're going to subtract 2x from each side so that we can get this y up in the front by itself like it's supposed to be in slope-intercept form, okay? So now this is gone, and we put the negative 2x first because that's the slope in the x value and the plus 8 in the back because that's the y-intercept b, right? So now it's in slope-intercept form, and that's going to be the blue line, all right? It's in a blue box. Here's the second equation. We had 2x plus 3y equals 4. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get rid of that 2x, and we're going to subtract it from this side also. So we've got 3y equals negative 2x plus 4, because that's a positive 4, isn't it? So now, to get this y by itself in the front, so it's in slope-intercept form, we need to divide every single term by that 3. This becomes a 1, so we have 1y. This becomes a negative 2 thirds. We're going to keep it the same, because that's our rise over our run for our slope. And our intercept B is going to be 4 over 3, or 1 and 1 third, because 3 goes into it 1 and 1 third times. So now we've got both equations for the blue line and the pink line, okay? So the blue one, the y-intercept is 8, so that's right here, okay? See that? And it's got a slope of negative 2. So we know that ne negative 2 means that's the rise over the run, right? So it's the same as negative 2 over 1. So that's our rise. That's our run. So what we need to do is go down 2, 1, 2, and our run is 1, so we need to go over. So we have our two points right here. And we knew because it was negative that the line was going to come down in this direction, right? When the slope is negative, it falls to the right. So we drew our blue line coming down through here, okay, through those two points. Now we know that this one hits the y-intercept at 1 and a third with a negative two-thirds slope. So this one's also going to fall down, okay? And you think, well, how can they cross if they're both coming down like that? Well, because one has a less slope than the other, and they'll eventually cross. So we're going to hit the y-intercept at one and a third, 
okay so that's right here not quite one and a half it's like one and a third and the rise over run is negative two over three so we're gonna go down two from a third so that's gonna go one two and put us right above this negative one line see because it's a third okay so it's like negative two-thirds and we need to go over three from this Y line, one, two, three. So it puts us right here, not quite on negative one, just a little bit above it, a third above it. So I use these two points to draw my pink line and see how this one, the blue one, had a very steep slope. And this one also had a negative slope, but not as steep. So they did cross. And look where they crossed. They crossed at five and negative two, five and negative two. So we were able to check it by graphing it. It was true, it did work, and we can also substitute it into an original equation, the five and negative two. So if we do this two x plus three y equals four and plug in our five and negative two for our x and y, we get 10 minus six equals four, and that's true. Now this is an actually a better way to check to see if you did it correctly and to check to see if the system is true. Graphing is not the absolute best way to do it. This is the best way to do it, okay? But you still need to know how to do it this way, all right? So the solution set is five comma two, see? All right, so we're gonna continue on talking about systems of equations and we'll keep working on these problems, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.